Okay, we back, you guys. Back. We're back. So this is our pretty D. Let's get back to it. Okay, let's get back. Yeah, for real. Let's get back to some real shit. This is our pretty D at the VIP. Welcome, everybody. It's new. Welcome, everybody. It's trying to get a clue. Okay. Welcome all to my peep-ins. Trying to peep up to keep up. Welcome. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys got your notes out. Y'all hear my shit all over Terrell Land. <laughs> yeah. And I don't like the way it's being spent. So let me make this perfectly clear. This is a PSA announcement. These are exercises. You got a lot of people out here manifesting your mess. I don't know how you think you're going to create a position of change for yourself and create a, a, a position of strength for yourself when you're doing nothing but manifesting your mess. Okay? This is why I have a series. Uh, this is why I have RIP your shit. You may need to RIP drinking. You, you, you may need to RIP to stop stealing. You may need to RIP put that shit in peace lying. Bring self awareness and self careness to yourself. This is about this is self week. This is we just loaded Virgo. I'm gonna give you a self card. This is something maybe you need to meditate and fast on. Okay, everybody have little pieces of parts of yourself you need to RP, and everybody got pieces and part of yourself you need to self examine that you are in self denial about, and that you may need to bring some self awareness to. Okay, this platform is about soul building, soul healing, so you get your soul dealing. That's it. We're going to keep it simple. I tell you all the time, your thoughts will shape you, shift you, or shit you. In return, your energy will shape you, shift you, or shit you. Your thoughts is what gets you caught. It's no secret. Okay? So, inner step to inner prep to inner step. Everything takes prep, uh, preparations. You have to cultivate. Okay, you have to examine yourself with a cold eye, analyze the way you move, stop the watching and wondering and waiting on shit. Because what you at the end of the day and the first of the day, what you vibe with, you dive with. Y'all dives are all wrong. Okay, so this is going to be for Capricorn. So make sure this is what I want. I just want to get that understanding. Okay, because people are getting it confused. And I'm noticing that and it's sad. Because you guys are so caught up and bought up in this twin flame. Caught up. And bought up. Can't see. Blinded. Death. <laughs> A lot of y'all going to lose your counterparts because y'all hanging on to the wrong masculine. Yeah. It's going to be it's a lot of walk-ins energies coming in. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you, friend. Yeah, I'm not here to tell you what I get and what I see in my visions. I'm not here for that. I'm here to teach you how to reach you. And don't get it twisted for anybody to see this. Subscribers, you're not supporting me. I don't I don't say thanks for your support because you're not supporting me. I'm here to service you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to, all I'm doing is dropping the seeds. You got seeds all over YouTube. What seeds are you planting? Who's holding your hand? Do you know? That's it. Ain't got no disclaimer on this. I guarantee if your ass fast and meditate on self-understanding, self-direct correcting and when stuff happening in your life, you point the finger back at you. Put this a part of your spiritual discipline. Put this a part of your therapy. I guarantee you ain't going to lose. But you got to do the work. R.I.P. There's a Capricorn out here that's frustrated. You in some frustrated energy. You got some unconscious um, negative drives that you have that you are self-unaware of. Um, Capricorn, R.I.P. that shit. You're secretive. R.I.P. that shit. Very closed and trapped. You're, you're, you're twaddling between dark and light. Okay? R.I.P. that shit. I do it later. There's a Capricorn out here that's always procrastinating. Always talking about you'll do it later. See, this is how you manifest your mess. Because when you say, I'm going to do it later, you never get it done. Do it right now. Okay? You know tomorrow never comes, Capricorn. Do one more. R.I.P. Yeah. There's a Capricorn out here. You two-faced. You two-faced. It says with truth. 
Yeah, you two faced. My two faced means that you're going, like I said, I just said it. You're going between the dark and the light. So that's right here. You're going between the dark and the light. A lot of y'all doing that. Dark and light, dark and light. One minute y'all praising God, talking about love and light. The next minute I'm hearing somebody, I'm going to curse you with some demons. Please tell me how that works. Please tell me how that fucking works. I would like to know, how does that work? Motherfuckers out here want to get mad because, oh, you think somebody doing something to you or nobody's liking you or or you feel like somebody's wrong. You want to think you, you, you if you're that powerful to sum up some damn demons and you that powerful to send any damn thing. Uplift your fucking channel then. If you sick of what's going on, put, put, put a spell on your damn channel and get your ass national then. That's what you do. If you're that damn powerful. So somebody's being two-faced. And you may and, and, and there's another Capricorn being two-faced with friends, family, and your partner. You laughing. No, I'm just being serious. I'm not even trying to throw shade. I mean, if you that damn powerful to come control some goddamn demons and shit, I mean <sighs> shit. <clears throat> like I said, folks better know who's holding your hand. Send anything over here. <laughs> If you like, because I see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, I mean, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking. If you that damn powerful to put curses on somebody, why don't you get your ass on Oprah or, 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 or put a curse and make your ass Oprah or some motherfucking body? If you can fucking do it just like that. I'm, excuse my cousin, folks who don't like it. No disrespect to y'all. Ain't trying to stumble somebody because somebody has a problem with cussing and trying to stop. I feel you. I, I feel the energy. I feel you, friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. It just don't make no sense. Put a spell on your common sense. How about that? Put a spell so you will stop making choices of being a damn doormat. And letting, and letting people use you in kind of way. And, and letting masculines tell you something that you know is not true. Put a, put a spell on that. Shit. Cancer. Energy. For real. I'm just saying. You better fact, back check me. Shit. <laughs> who goes around putting spells on because you don't like something somebody do or something that somebody said bitch yeah I said witch I said witch put them motherfucking tools down put them hands up <laughs> for real <laughs> shit I, that, that, I just be like mm, honey please okay Capricorn Okay, this may sound like some conspiracy I'm picking up because you got too many zodiacs coming out. You got cat cancer out here, Gemini and Libra. I'm trying to get to your self card. They want to tell me about your business. You know your own business. <laughs> you know what you need to do and not to do. There's a cancer and a Gemini and a Libra somewhere in your in your mix. Two Face. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm. Frustrated. Okay. Self card. Okay. So you in self denial about something. Self denial. You self sacrifice, popped your box. You didn't pop your box. And I don't say that to be cute either. Serious when I say pop your box. And this is why some of y'all to make the bad choices because y'all too busy looking at people outside their box. Yeah. You're looking at, see, you're too busy looking at the, how the outside of the box dress. Oh, so-and-so don't keep their grass clean. Oh, so-and-so got roaches. Oh, so-and-so don't dress right. So, so-and-so, oh, no, they can't be. Oh, no, it's just impossible, huh? Mm -hmm. You need to change your attitude, Capricorn. Yeah. Your attitude determines your direction. Pop your box. You need to change your attitude. I know a lot of Capricorns are snobby, very materialistic, unforgiving, can't forgive for shit, hold on from shit from 1999, don't take accountability, responsibility, they always choosing the wrong mate, and they always make themselves a liability. I know a lot of Capricorns like that. Knock, knock, spirits been trying to talk to you, not listening. Because you're too trapped. You're too frustrated in your fuck negative energy. You're in your flesh energy. You're flesh driven. You're too busy toddling between the dark and the light. You need to get some type of discipline over here. You need to change your attitude about something because you in denial that you need to change your attitude. That's first of all because people are trying to get talk to you, but uh, can't hear. Okay? Yeah. 
right here. It says you need to surrender, Capricorn. Surrender. Transition. Pop your box. Sh surrender. Become bored. It's right here. Knock, knock. You need to change your attitude of whatever you're doing and become bored And because you need to surrender something. You know the business. Keep telling y'all I'm not going to breastfeed you. I'm going to chest feed you over here. We all grown. What's happening with you? Okay, your vibe is taking a die. Because whatever this attitude is, yeah, you need to change your attitude. Because now you got the fear of the unknown. The self-created. This is my self-created demons. Okay, self-created. You in this self-denial about you have fear of the unknown. This is what I'm talking about. This is the shit you need to RIP. It's right here, Cap. Okay, with, along with the cancer. Okay, and maybe you need to RIP a cancer. I don't know. That's your business. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of change, and fear of making a mistake. Those are all spiritual blocks in your shop. That will make your that that will make your that will lock your box up. That's why I say pop your box to pop your blocks. Okay, so your self card one you have one self. So, so you are self denial about something. You need to analyze the way you move in. You need to examine that self denial with a cold eye. Understand? Okay, maybe you in self denial about a Cancer, Gemini, or a Libra. Put it where it fits. Because you show us worried about something. This is why we got the fear of the unknown. This is why we need to change the attitude. Okay? What you feed, you see. You understand? Everything starts with a seed. But you got to feed the seed too. So what you feed, and if we're talking about your thoughts that got you caught. Because you laid down with the man and thought you had a plan. You feed. Now you feed in the seed of worry. Now you feed in the seed of watching. Now you feed in the seed of waiting. Those are all spiritual blocks and locks on your shocks. That's why I tell you, you would make your shocks a shit box. Okay? Well, are you following me? So you need to RIP this shit. Self-mastery. Look into your self-denial. Okay? I'm just giving you a clue. Because something somewhere you need to transition and surrender. There's a phase. And you in a daze. Okay, Cap? What's happening? Let's get back to it. Learn something to burn something. Y'all want to keep learning to keep burning. Instead of learn something to burn something, y'all want to keep learning to keep burning. I don't... I, shit. You get... You, you, father whooped my ass one time. Gave me a holy hellfire ass whooping. That's it. <laughs> I don't know y'all addicted to pain or the stain. I, I, it's beneath me. Like I said, you better see who's holding your hand. Okay, Kat, let's see. Let's get a couple more for you. Let me shuffle these. Now I got to drop my son off for work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't wait to get me some good old-fashioned daughter-in-laws, son-in-laws, daughter-in-laws, shit. Yes, I'm going to be a good, good mama-in-law. <laughs> R.I.P., yeah. The reason you can't get, your, look, the reason you can't get your knock-knock, you can't get your knock-knock, yeah, you can't get your knock-knock. Spirit's been knocking because your crown is blocked. Yeah, crown is where you get some of your spiritual perception from because you're so busy with this anxiety and fear that you need to RIP this is why this worry is giving you anxiety and fear this watching is giving you anxiety and fear and putting your ass in a depression and making you overly skeptical and it's giving you a spiritual block down which is giving you a spiritual lockdown that's what I mean by that not trying to be cute because spirit cannot talk to you okay follow me because you want self denial about something and you need to change your attitude so you get to your latitude. What's happening? Let's get back to it. Mm, yeah, let's get back to it. <laughs> let's get back to it. What's happening? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do one more, then we're going to stop it right here because I like your self-card. So you in self-denial, you need to self-examine your self-denial. You, you need to examine yourself with a cold eye and analyze the way you're moving within the self-denial energy. Okay? And you definitely need to bring some self-observation. You need to observe what you pick up and do some self-introspection. Because when, you do your, when you're able to self-introspect, Capricorn, your third eye won't be so confused and muddled. You will balance that as well. Understand that. Because right now, you, there's a Capricorns out here that got some anxiety and fear and depression. And you're overly skeptical about something. And what it is, and you got all kind of worry, watching, waiting energy. Okay? Because you need to change your attitude and your latitude, baby. Because you got the fear and the unknown, feel of failure. These are all self-created demons. And you got the fear you made a mistake. You need to pop that box. Okay? 
All right? Because spirit's been trying, to, spirit been trying to pop your box, but you're not listening. So you got to surrender. How do you, how do you do that? And then I got to leave you alone. How do you surrender? You surrender by not being two-faced. All right, that two-faced. You twirl in between the dark and the light, okay? It's either you in or you out. It's no in-between when it comes to the dark and the light, all right? So you need to surrender. You do that by fasting. Make your flesh submit so you can quit, so you can get your spiritual reception, so you can get your spiritual perception. Understand, you need to balance your flesh-driven attitude and your flesh-driven ways. Balance your spirit and balance your flesh. It's just that simple, okay? All right. So good luck to you. And this is it for um, Capricorn. Yeah. Learn something to burn something. Stop learning to burn. Okay. Learn something to, learn something to burn something. All right. This is Alfredo D at the VIP. You guys can subscribe if you like. It's up to you. But I'll be back with Taurus. Handle your business. Okay. And start minding your business. And that's your spiritual business. See, you're not minding your business right here, Cap. Mind your business. Knock, knock. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.